Five years on from the closure of a leisure centre in North Staffordshire, a £7.5 million transformation is nearing completion. The community rallied round, setting up a registered charity, and now the Kids Grove Sports Centre community group will run it. Laura May McMullen has been to see what it looks like. Preparations are well underway and it's hoped in about four months' time the first customers will be back enjoying their exercise here at the newly renovated Kidsgrove Sports Centre in North Staffordshire. So this is our swimming pool which is the 1970s pool which has been completely refurbished, it's our prize asset. And the whole centre is now a community asset. It'll be owned and operated by the charitable trust that Mark Clues helped to set up. They've come a long way since the centre closed its doors five years ago and strive to gain council and government funding of seven and a half million pounds. The community felt like its heart had been ripped out when the sports centre closed. Uh, it was one of those moments where everybody, I think, hoped that there would be a change of heart, but sadly there wasn't, and that's why we had to look to new models, and one of the new models was to try and replicate what's happened elsewhere in the country, which was to look at a community ownership model. It'll still be run in the same way as other leisure centres and have a manager and staff, but all the income will go straight back into the running costs and staff wages. The final piece of the jigsaw is that the council has agreed to a 25-year lease and so far more than a thousand people have expressed interest in becoming members. And visitors to the nearby Bathpool Park say the area needs affordable leisure. I think it's a great idea. Um, people need exercise and that and they need it local. With the lockdown and everything it's it helps people's well-being. It's going to bring families back together, get children off the streets. It's just, it's just got to be good for everything. What a fantastic leisure facility this is going to be. Uh, a community like this is very hard to find. Um, the investment into this facility is inspiring, inspiring to us as a contractor. And I think if this can work and operate to the ambition that they've got, I think, wow, absolutely fantastic. Jobs are now starting to be advertised and organisers say they also hope to rely on the help of volunteers. Laura May McMullen, BBC Midlands Today, Kids Grove. Looks good, doesn't it? Becky said she used to swim there. We'll see her in a minute.